chopsticks. Millions of people in the world are using it daily, and myself, I grew up using them as well. Today, I'll show you how to use them properly and worst 20 thing that you can do with Japanese chopsticks. Here at Knifer, we're here to make your experience with food much better. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so that you don't miss any videos. Also, check out the links in the description below for the for more products and stories. Japanese people have been using chopsticks since early 7th century. These chopsticks were brought from China. But Japanese people have been developing, changing the shape or size of the material of the chopsticks over the years. In East Asia, there are three main cultural groups who uses a chopsticks. Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Here are main differences. Chinese chopsticks are much longer and slightly thicker than Japanese counterparts. One of the biggest reasons for the Chinese chopsticks being very long is that they're communal dining setting. Traditionally, Chinese foods are served in a bigger plate and to be shared with everyone in your family. Therefore, Chinese chopsticks should be longer to be able to reach the food. Korean chopsticks, on the other hand, they are short like the Japanese ones, but they are made with metal. Historically speaking, back in hundreds of years ago, upper-class Koreans were using chopsticks that are made with silver. Silver will detect the poisons in your food. Therefore, general public started using the metal chopsticks to mimic their upper class. Japanese chopsticks are traditionally shorter and much more pointier. Reason for being this pointy is that it can serve much more purposes, like cutting, like wrapping, like grabbing, like deboning. Traditionally, Japanese food were served so that you do not need anything else but a set of chopsticks. Where traditionally, many cultures, they still do have spoons or some sort of knife to cut stuff. So this pair of chopsticks that we sell here are made in a region called Wakasa in the Fukui prefecture, where Japanese traditionally lacquering is very famous for. Traditional craftsman Okubo-san has spent days and days to put the multiple layers of lacquer onto this beautiful piece of chopsticks. After applying 30 layers of lacquer onto this single piece of chopstick, he uses tiny bit of sharpening stones or charcoal to carve down very tiny bit on the chopsticks to expose all the layers. If you want a pair like this, check out our link on the description and read our blog post. Now it's time for me to show you how to use the chopsticks properly and 20 worst things that you can do with the Japanese chopsticks. How to use chopsticks properly. First, you hold a chopstick with index finger, middle finger, and your thumb this way and try to move it. It's like nodding. See, my thumb is not moving. Then you add another chopstick, slide that in here, then do the same. See, only upper part of the chopstick seems moving, lower part is stable. This is how you hold the chopsticks properly. Araibashi. Wash your chopstick in the soup. Sakasabashi. To use the wrong side of the chopsticks pick up. Sashibashi. To stab into the food. Tagaibashi, to use the mismatched chopsticks. Mayoibashi, hovering your chopsticks while you are thinking. Chigiribashi, use chopsticks like forks and knives. Hanebashi, you flick your food with your chopsticks. 
Yosebashi. Use your chopsticks to move the plate. Watashibashi. To bridge over the plate. Watashibashi. Hey Nathan, that looks good. Can I have it? Sure. Tatakibashi. Hotokebashi. Seseribashi. Scrape the food against the plate. Mochibashi. To hold the plate while you have the chopstick in your hand. Ogamibashi. To have chopsticks in your hand and bow. Kakibashi. Use chopsticks to scratch. Kamibashi. Chew your chopsticks. Kuaebashi. Hold the chopsticks with your mouth. Neburibashi. To lick the chopsticks. Sashibashi. Hey, can you pass me that soy sauce? Point that thing with your chopsticks. I hope you learned something about Japanese chopsticks, tradition, history, what to do and what not to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.